Previously on Launch Control, Subaru Rally Team USA embarked on the final global rallycross round of the year. Getting there, step by step. It's been fun. Come on, two minutes. The last chance to prove their development is on the right path to 2017. Three cars in the fray. Solid performances on day one by David Higgins and Chris Atkinson show promise. Inside, inside. But with a final day of competition looming, time's running out to put a stamp on this year's progress. This is Launch Control. Final day of the 2016 GRC season starts at daybreak. Feels like a rally being up at 5 a.m. There's no warm up today. No practice runs. Diamond, smile for the camera. <laughs> cold cars, cold tires, and cold drivers step directly into qualifying. Chris Atkinson knows that to land a better result today, it has to start here in qualifying. A high grid position is everything and puts you ahead of the mid-pack jostling. So this qualification matters. You're all clear though, hit your marks, bud. David Higgins would like to continue his momentum from yesterday's race. His sixth place was one of the team's best finishes of the year. A top result today would carry the team's morale through the winter months. Toshi Arai is also learning quickly. His qualifying time is 1.4 seconds faster than just a day ago. Turn by turn, the day's on the upward swing. And then Atkinson lands a spot in the top six qualifying shootout. Now, with the top six cars on track at the same time, the team watches the live feed in anticipation. Right away, Atkinson takes control. He's fastest on the opening lap and then improves on it. Take your marks, bud. We got a whole clean track here. Nice and smooth. In the pits, it's tense. This last lap right yeah, here. Last lap is tense. He's got a long ways to make up. With the championship leaders on track, his pole position could be snagged at any moment. All right, bud, hit your mark. Nice and smooth here. Nice, fast, clean line. That boy didn't have nothing for him on the last lap. P1, boys. Good job, good job. Cheers, guys. Yeah, nice. It takes a moment to realize what just happened. Never in this team's GRC history have they taken pole position. It's a small victory, but a massive step forward for a team that was two seconds off the pace just a few months earlier. Nice job! It's all smiles when number 55 returns. That's probably the most encouraging moment of the year so far for the whole team. Like, uh, I don't think even everyone realizes we just, we just out-qualified speed fastest in our group, less than a few thousand, so the actual outright fastest, it's, it's massive, so we're really happy. We're in the mix, that's okay. We're definitely in the mix. Yeah. Hopefully we can um, get a good start in the races and keep up the front. With a condensed race schedule today, the cars head back out for heat races. Atkinson, front row inside. Green, 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 green. Off the line and through turn one, 
he slots into third. Bumper to bumper, all clear, all clear, clear by one car out back. Behind him, Toshi Arai nudges for the inside line. His door-to-door -door racing instincts are forming. It's your mark, nice and smooth. Atkinson has had three events to learn. Arise only had two days. With 600 horsepower and a tight course, taming the dragon and driving smoothly shaves time. That and never letting the competition gain the inside line. Atkinson holds his ground, but Toshi gets called out. Rough driving, car 88. Stop and hold. Stop and hold, car 88. In the other heat race, David Higgins is playing catch-up. For the second time in two days, his qualifying time puts him mid-pack and fighting for position. Right side, right side. A late joker strategy doesn't pay off this time. He's headed to the last chance qualifier. Right there with you, clear, clear, clear. Atkinson's third place is a good result, but he too will land out of the transfer spots. All three Subarus are in the LCQ. Between each race is a scramble in the service area. The drivers inform the technicians on what they felt in the car, and setup changes are prescribed by the engineers. But with live TV dictating the schedule, the LCQ comes up quickly. have to wait and see. We're in a pretty good position for the start. We'll try a different launch. We'll see how it goes. Three Subarus take to the line. Atkinson leads the Subaru charge, tucking in front of Higgins. But with such a tight track, you can gain the inside line on one corner. You lose it all in the next. Higgins is pushed wide, and he drops back into a battle with his teammate, Arai. Toshi's behind you. No, nope, he's gonna give it to you. He's up your inside there. Up your inside. Up your inside. They both get crossed up over the jump, with nowhere to go. All right, he's spun out. With a quick joker lap, Higgins is back in the mix and will manage to qualify for the final. Up front, Atkinson grabs second and also advances. Bring her on home here, bud. All the way to the line. Check us out, check us out, come on. That was a bit of start. Yeah, it was. Car felt good, car felt really good. Done and done. Two Subarus make the final with a mountain to climb and a packed house watching. Here we are, final race of the year. Nice to have the pole position this morning, but we're in the mix in the middle of the field again here for the final. Who knows what's going to happen, but um, I will give it everything we got. Last one of the year. Don't need the cars for a while. She's going to get a beating. Atkinson, third row middle. Have a good race. Hey, man, thanks. Higgins, fourth row outside. Both cars need to make a move on the first corner if they expect to be in the mix. Twelve cars hit the first corner simultaneously. Atkinson stays in. Higgins opts outside. Keep that line, keep it. Honda's inside, Honda's inside. By turn two, Higgins is ahead, surrounded by rivals. Clear, clear, clear. Stay with Arpin. You got two Hondas behind you on your bumper. Watch your inside here. In the dirt, Arpin goes wide and Higgins pounces. There he is. He's pushing, pushing. Good. Outside. Arpin's outside. You got the drive. Let's go. Arpin gave it to you. 
three spots back, Atkinson is battling poor visibility. A rubbing tire on the car in front of him has created a smoke screen. We gotta pass a couple cars. Hey, your mark's nice and smooth. They battle, but he can't seem to get by. Three cars forward, Higgins is under siege. The constant attacks force him into defensive mode, breaking early and protecting the inside line. In the dirt, the bumping pushes him wide. He's up here inside now. He's up here inside. Get good drive. Get good drive. Everybody's looking up here inside. Go, 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 go. Stay going. Stay going. It's three wide over the jump. Keep it. Keep in it. Get your foot in it. Let's go. Higgins holds his ground but the landing de-beads a tire and rips off some paneling. With a limping car and only a few laps to go, he lets his teammate pass. Higgins defends his position as best he can, but slips one more spot at the finish. Boston Dine, looking up here inside. That's him there. There is no love lost here. The dust settles with both cars in the middle of the pack. Atkinson, seventh, claims the second fastest lap of the weekend. Higgins, with a flat tire, settles for ninth. Back in the pits, the relief and excitement is evident. As you can see, the car's pretty wrecked. Just got nailed mid-pack. Um, we bent the steering early on, and then we just uh, ran around a bit off the pace, but got P7 in the end. Qualifying was awesome. Um, the work the guys have done, to come from a few seconds off the pace a couple of races ago now to set the fastest lap in qualifying and be on the front row there. That's awesome. Um, and we've, we've learned a heap in the last few races and especially testing as well and trying things on the race weekend. We've learned how the car reacts to different changes, different surfaces. Uh, we know we've got good one lap pace. Now the, the trick is to have good race pace, good starts, piece it all together. But the fact that we've got a fast car now and we know we can make it faster is, is awesome. That was the mission for this year. Find the competitive pace to take into the off-season. We're a race team now and we're getting crossed when we lose a position. We're getting crossed when we lose a few tenths in a sector. We're, we're not filling up spaces now. We're wanting to make these places. And I think that's the big thing. The team, get the, they, they want to see us racing hard. And that drives these guys on because they work so many hours so late at night to give us what we've got. The only way we can repay them is to go out there and drive the wheels off it. There's some big potential in this car. We certainly need to be looking at winning races next year. Um, and if you win races, the points will have for themselves. With a season of data and lessons learned, the new cars are already taking shape. You know, it's been amazing where we've gotten to where we came from this year in such short time. It felt like an eternity, but suddenly it feels like we want to go out and do another race because the momentum's in our favor. We worked with our friends at Subaru Technica International, Vermont Sports Car, and we're hugely proud of the entire team, the drivers, what they've been able to accomplish for us this year. We've learned a lot. We're very confident in what we're going to be able to do next year. We can't wait for 2017 to start. There is no doubt in the minds of every team member that they are on the rise.